reading horrible reviews for my favorite places in Gatlinburg. This is going to get cringy, but let's get into it right after that intro. Roll that intro. I just want to see the light. Hi all, Keith here, welcome to the video. Before we go too much further, make sure you pause the video, click that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. All right, this one we're gonna go through some of the TripAdvisor reviews that are stingingly awful for some of my favorite places in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, so let's get into it. You'll notice that I cut out the usernames because I didn't want to like give the usernames of these people, okay? But anyway, let's check out the first one, and we're gonna start with with the Margaritaville Resort in Gatlinburg. Okay, this first person had a spa trip planned for their anniversary and things went a little awry. It says, while the hotel was adequate, we booked our stay specifically for the spa. However, the spa lost our reservation and failed to make up for this error and ruined our anniversary trip. The hotel themselves is getting a one star review just because the spa ruined your vacation but also you're in the smoky mountains filled with beautiful mountains and amazing places to entertain yourself and eat and things like that and and your entire trip was ruined by one spa day i don't know that's this is a little hard to believe guys hmm. okay <laughs> We'll check out the next one here. This one says customer service is horrible. They got a few pictures up there. Ooh, what could this be? <laughs> it's a lovely resort with great amenities. The room was spacious, beautiful, and the entire, as was the entire resort. It is, it is. However, there was mold in the shower. Upon checking out, I talked to the manager considering this problem. He assured me that they, he would make sure it was reported and told me he would make sure I got a credit on my bill. Well... It's been over a month and still no credit. I have contacted him once again and still no credit. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, you know, I sort of get. And plus, like if that was really the case in the shower, you that's that's cruddy. They should have gave him a they should have gave him a credit just for that. Yuck. Okay. And the last one here for the Margarita <laughs> says, poor excuse for a resort. This is this is starting out great. <laughs> Crappy service, lackadaisical staff, and those poor caged birds. There's not a real restaurant on site. There is. Just a coffee counter that takes forever. I mean, in the mornings, yes, but generally yeah, throughout the day, no. They don't have many of the items listed on the menu. Never again. And they gave them a two-star review. I don't know. I don't get this one either. Like, what was what was her issue? Like, there is a real restaurant on site. The coffee counter must have taken forever for them on one day. That has happened to me before. Like, if it's busy there, but... I don't know. I don't get this one either, guys. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of these reviews of the Margaritaville. Harsh or not? Let's move on to the Pancake Pantry. Now, y'all know I love me some Pancake Pantry, so this is going to be good. Snubbed by the waitress. Okay. Visited for lunch after the aquarium. Wait, some people go there for lunch? <laughs> anyway, seated and ignored forever while waitress waited on tables on either side. Walked out, never again. Now see, situations like this, you gotta like wonder, were they busy? Were they short-staffed? I mean, the, the craziness of the day that we live in kind of, you know... Makes me wonder if they're short-staffed or whatever, but like a one star? I don't know. Poor service? Bad food? Ooh, I'm noticing a theme here, guys. The ladies that send you into a table are not nice and very rude. I don't know. I've never had a problem there, and I've eaten there many a times. I realize times are hard, but you work in an area that is tourists everywhere. Be nicer to people. The food itself is just okay. Really? Just okay? I can assure you it's better than okay. Pricey for what you get. I mean, I will agree with that part. Pancakes are just tasteless. It's not worth the wait for the price. Will not be back. It is 100% worth the wait for the price and I'll be back so... Okay, let's finish it off with terrible table here. I realize this place is always crowded but they say us at a table... I think she meant sat us at the table right next to the door facing the wall which I mean it happens because like that place is always crowded so you don't really get to tell them what table you want. 
It's where they pile up all the high chairs and the strollers. Ah, I know where she's referring to. And yeah, I've sat over there before and it's not the funnest in the world, but I'm never there for the atmosphere as much as the food. So, but I get it. It's also where people line up to use the ATM because they don't take credit cards. Well, they do take credit cards now. Worst table in the Smokies. Our waitress was friendly though. I mean, the table, they don't say anything about the food or anything, just the table placement was enough to give them one star. See, I don't get why people do that. Like, I mean, yeah, the experience is part of it, but knock it off one or two for the experience and, you know, rate it based on the food because it's a restaurant? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, guys. I don't know. <laughs> okay, another one of my favorite hotels in Gatlinburg is the Bearskin Lodge. And there's a few doozies here. <laughs> so let's get into it. Overrated. Well, I don't know. I'll disagree with you off the bat there. We stayed two nights and it's run down. Stains on hall carpets, crud on back doors, mold in some of the spots in the ceilings. Bathroom toilet use is very small if you have door open. It is a little tight in the bathroom. We had blood spots on our pillowcases and our bedspread. Would not be returning to this location anymore, which if any of that's true, I see I totally 100% get why this person rated it one star. Their experience with the hotel was not great, so give it one star. Get it? 100%. Two bottles of water for our anniversary. Now, first off, this is a like a high-end hotel like Margaritaville, so I've never ever in all my times stayed there have heard them giving anyone any special special things for their anniversary, but let's read the review. Told reservation staff it was our anniversary in reply email confirmation it was our anniversary. Told check in check. What? And all they have was two bottles of water. She said paid premium for this room, got cheap tissue paper, cheap Kleenex, cheap anniversary present. They give you an anniversary present? Ruined our day. Flowers or gift basket was what one clerk said was usually given. And we got two bottles of water. I beg to differ. I've never seen this hotel give anything like that. But I could be wrong. I mean, honestly, it doesn't sound like anything the bear skin would do. And actually, in the response, which I didn't have here, the manager did respond that they do not do that type of thing for customers. They usually give two bottles of water, so... Mm, I'm not sure what information they're going off of. Okay, the last one here for the Bearskin Lodge. Early? Question mark. Okay, I'm intrigued. Never ever show up early before 3 p.m. to this hotel. Staff cares nothing about your 10-hour drive or you as a customer. Like, see, like when people do this, they like make their problems, they project their problems and their stress onto these poor hotel staff. It's just, it's just kind of bad, to, you know? Like, they probably have a lot of people that are coming for five, ten hours away, you know? And you're supposed to be prioritized over everyone else. Like, how are you special? I don't I don't get when people do things like this, guys. You are the proverbial cash cow. How dare I show up early after driving all night and morning? The only thing you had to offer was a seat on a couch in a lobby until they can find a room ready late. Do not bother them while they're watching CSI on TV. Last stay at this location. <laughs> So you got there early before your check-in time and they didn't have a room available. What could you possibly do in the area to kill time until your room gets, I don't know. It's like there's nothing to do in the area, right? You couldn't walk around and check out the shops and go grab a bite to eat. Instead, you rage at the people on, <laughs> anonymously on TripAdvisor. Oh, sometimes my faith in humanity is shaken, folks. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the Peddler Steakhouse, which is one of my favorite places to eat in Gatlinburg, if you're not aware. Okay, this person's celebrating a birthday. The server was extremely unprofessional. The manager even worse. Worse? Worse? Unrespectful. Wait. Unrespectful to our table. Does he mean disrespectful to our table? Anyway... The fish was burned like charcoal. Okay. Um, if you're going to leave reviews on sites, can you, like, maybe reread the thing and, like, check for grammar? <laughs> Gosh. Steak media well it was cooked well done. Uh, disasters. I will never again go there. Not recommend it. I don't know. I can't speak to his experience, but he must have had a bad time, but... I can't really figure out what his issue is here. 
<laughs> Apparently the food wasn't good, and that's what he's saying. This one was an example of what not to do when you leave TripAdvisor <laughs> <laughs> but like if his experience was truly as horrible as it sounds, I guess the one star is justified. Okay, what a loss. Hmm, wonder how where this one's going. My wife and I got a recommendation to visit this place and we were told to call an hour prior to opening, which we tried several times and finally got through on the way through the way online just to be dropped when we were next to make reservations, which has happened to me before too, which is why I never really call in anymore. I usually, the doors open up like an hour beforehand and I usually go in an hour beforehand just to put my name on the list because I have a horrible time getting through when I'm calling down there. So anyway, I get that part. We decided to drive by to see how the wait was. Pulled into a packed parking lot with a line outside. That happens very often. Guess the food was great for lines like this. Just wish we could have gotten through on the phone to make a reservation. Maybe next time. Be prepared to wait either on the phone or in line. Which again, like I said, my recommendation if you're going to eat at the Peddler is to go there because calling has been very sporadic and it's hard to get through. So like if they open up at four, go in at three and put your name on the list. Or if they open up at five, go in at four and put your name on the list. That's my recommendation. But I feel this person's pain. Not this time. Ooh. Have eaten here every time that I visited Gatlinburg and have always enjoyed it. Was pretty upset that on my last night of this visit, I headed over there to have another great meal. Had checked and they were supposed to be open till 9. Arrived at 8.15 with a sign on the greeting station saying that they were closed for the evening. Highly disappointed. See, one star for this. Again, this is nothing that the restaurant could have controlled. I can guarantee that, the, but that showing up at 8.15, they're probably fully booked till nine and that's why that sign was on the on the stand you can't show up to a place like the peddler and expect just to walk in at 8 15 p.m and get right into the restaurant it doesn't happen this place is too popular so that review is kind of a little bit of like the other ones where the people are putting their anger on this place for no other reason other than projecting it i mean there's nothing the restaurant could have done if you want to eat there and you say you've eaten there many times you know that this place is busy so call when they first open up to get your name on the list or you might not make it in i don't know i'm just saying guys people will go on here onto TripAdvisor and throw all these false facts just because they're angry about certain things but you go to these places and it, unless the place is completely disgusting which like a couple of those reviews had some you know disgusting things why are you giving it one re one star i mean it doesn't make any sense they're they're just clearly projecting something and you got to take those reviews with a grain of salt on TripAdvisor. And that's what I say. Read the good with the bad. But also try and see where these people are coming from when you're reading these reviews. Like if there was one bad experience. I mean, you're probably not going to have the same experience that they had. So... I mean, unless the place was gross. But anyway, I don't know. Oh, what'd you guys think of this video? Did you think it was fun reading these negative tripping advisor reviews? Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. All right, everyone. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. But make sure you hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with some video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Click the join button down there below to find out all the great benefits of becoming a member of the channel. Also, check out the merch shelf down there below to see all the cool designs we have in our shop. If you want another way to support the channel, head on over to our coffee page. It's just a way for you to drop us like a virtual tip or buy us a coffee. Any way you choose to support the channel, we really appreciate it. And also, I'd like to pause for one second and thank everyone that made it this far in the video. Y'all are in it with us, and we really appreciate you more than you know. Y'all are the reasons we keep going with these videos. Comment down there, I I love Gatlinburg to let me know you made it this far in the video. All right, everyone. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.